today is well today is a couple things um, today is first and foremost February 2nd 2020 and uh, it's also Groundhog's Day um, apparently Phil did not see a shadow so it's calling for an early spring um, what that means here I, I have no idea I kind of had the feeling again uh, as in yesterday's video or when you may see it um, you know tap trees super early uh, the earliest that I've probably ever tra tapped trees just in looking at the extended uh, weather forecast so um, yeah it's also Super Bowl Sunday so I've got to knock out a um, bunch of things before we head over to our friend's house uh, to enjoy some uh, Super Bowl festivities um, and one of those things that we need to get going on is firing up the evaporator to do what they call dry run again it's not dry you're just putting water in it it's a brand new evaporator um, and so we just got to run water through it uh, get it to a boil um, just to couple things clean it um, as well as you know any you know metal filings or anything left over from the manufacturer or I shouldn't say the manufacturer I guess the manufacturer of um, it so that's what we got going on today all right we're heading to the sugar shack this is it. This is the hunting shack. It's where I was just uh, splitting some kindling uh, to get the fire going um, for the sugar shack. And, uh, now I know there's going to be people that say, hey, you got your stovepipe outside. Um, it should be inside. And uh, which is true, uh, I agree, because then the evaporation off the pan will follow the heat of the stovepipe, all that good stuff. I was in a pinch. I was just finishing this thing off in late October slash November. Um, and I just said, hey, I'm not gonna deal with cutting through the, the roof and all that good stuff right now. Wait till the summer and then I'll run it inside. So that's the plan. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, snow is uh, on this wow you can uh wow it's even cold which is good that not so much um <laughs> yeah that uh the black one's hot um probably that's the reason why it's 12 dollars for four feet of this and it's 74 dollars for four feet of that that's triple wall um, pipe so this is a setup um, for now let's go inside and check out the evaporator WF Mason Bill great guy in Maine no he doesn't sponsor no I don't know him outside of buying a custom-made evaporator from him um, it's a long wait I think I waited nine months ten months um to get this made but let's uh put a block of wood here prop the door open so we have some good light there we go all right so this is it this is the unit this is a four foot xl with a true preheater um you know this is the this is all water by the way um, the water is coming out of the preheater. When I say that it's a true preheater, um, the preheater goes down to the arch, right? Where the flame, the flame is actually hitting this preheater. Most preheaters, they just sat on top of uh, the evaporator and yeah, they'll, they'll preheat a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling this is a better option um but yeah this is this is the evaporator uh, we got 
got a fire going in it. It's going pretty good. I don't know if you can see. You really can't. Eh, you can a little bit maybe, but fire brick in there. Um, all that good stuff. And I love where I put this um, sugar shack. It's kind of a little gloomy out, but we got like a mountain view in the back. You can kind of see through the screen. Sorry. And then um, you can see down in the woods. But anyway, this is it. This is the maiden um, firing of the uh, Butler's Homestead Evaporator. Um, I can give you a quick idea of what we had used real quick um, in the past. I'll show you what we actually started off with. You can, you can see it on top of the IBC tote. Um, that pan right there, that's what, uh, that's what we used to boil with, um, starting out. And then we upgraded to this pan. And this is what I was talking about, actually. Um, this pan had the preheater, right? So you see what I was talking about? Like that preheater sets on top of the pan. Um, whereas the other one is sitting on top of the flame. But, uh, and then this is the, this is the hunting cabin. This is it. Highly recommend these. Um, love this hunting cabin. Spent a lot of time in it. I actually lived in this thing for uh, nine months of my life. Found out how how much water a human being actually uses. Uh, we use a whole lot of water. Um, and it was in the winter time um, that uh, we actually actually stayed in this. So uh, yeah, it was a rough go, but you know what? It was, it was worth it, gave me appreciation. Um, but again, all we did was uh, loaded some buckets with water, got them in. And eventually, I don't know, if somebody has any thoughts or things on this. I built this, yeah, there, why would you put that so close? Initially, I was going to connect the two. Um, I don't know, because I have this going on. Uh, I had to raise the grade and all that good stuff, but uh, we won't get into excavation and construction and all that. This is all about the maple syrup so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we will be doing this next weekend same time with sap and then we'll show you how that all goes if you like what you see here please subscribe like and share it with your friends have a great day mm -hmm.